It's a great accomplishment and a great honor. And uh, for me, I like to be a, a well-rounded person, um, always striving to be my best in the classroom, in the community, and definitely on the field. I think I play very hard, and I think I, I leave it all on the field. And I like to take that same mentality you know, into my, all aspects of my life. I like to be a guy that people can look up to and uh, definitely a light in the community and, and, and Charlottesville as a well. whole. Uh, for me, it's just uh, demanding the most out of everyone and myself. I'm never late. I'm always you know, one of the first guys here. I'm always in the film room all the time. I've played every play this year. I've, I've never come out and um, my team needs me, so I'm always trying to be there for my team and, and, and contribute in any way I can. So just leadership on the field and, and being my best self that I can be. I like to lead by example most, but this year I've kind of grown in, in, in knowing when I need to speak up. That was something that this new coaching staff, Coach Mendenhall, Coach Hunter, Coach Rapenga, all the defensive coaches really challenged me. They said, Mike, the guys really look up to you, and, and at times you need to really speak to them and, and lead them with, with your words. And so that's something I've definitely grown with this year. But you know, at my core, I'm a, I'm a lead by example kind of guy and, and just show them the way rather than tell them. School-wise, uh, foreign affairs major, and uh, you know, I think I have one of the highest GPAs on the team right now. So I strive for excellence in the classroom and the community. Most importantly, just staying out of trouble, never being a, a guy that you have to really question on what he's doing, if he's going to be available. That's the most important thing really in football is your availability. I'm always available. Visiting the hospitals, going to the uh, Boys and Girls Club, just little things like that. If there's a hero, that's awesome. Uh, my favorite uh, Thursday hero was when Jacob came, and he, he said his favorite number was 53. So it was awesome being able to give him a practice jersey, sign it for him, give him some gloves. You know, that, that's a great program that I'm glad that Coach Mendenhall brought to UVA from BYU, and just being able to reach out to kids and, and even adults, really, that are going through hard times. And, you know, just them coming to practice is a highlight of, you know, a lot of their lives. So just seeing the impact that we have is great. Honestly, my parents, uh, my mom and dad, they, they raised me, you know, to always be the best in everything that you do and uh, take pride in everything you do, whether it was cutting grass, you know, doing your homework, uh, playing football, playing lacrosse, playing swimming. You know, I always wanted to be the best and I always wanted to play with pride and really represent my last name. And so just being a Kaiser, that's just how we do things. We're like do-it-yourselfers, even though I'm from Baltimore, so city kid, but at the same time, you know, any yard work that we had to do, if, if things needed to get painted, if my dad was remodeling something, he usually did it himself. And so just watching that and then, you know, me growing up, I always wanted to be like my dad, so I was in the yard with him, always right next to him all the time. And to this day, he'll joke around like, man, Mike, you know, you weren't here, but I'll fix some such and such in the backyard. It, it would have made you a lot stronger. So that's how he always, he always liked to say, that's why I'm strong and, you know, good at football is that hard work and that mentality, that blue collar mentality, so. I would probably say tenacity, just having that attitude, uh, bringing a great attitude to everything that you do and really attacking it. Academic wise, I always want to have great academics, you know, just my parents instilled that in me and, and really being able to do what I want with my future when, when the time comes, can't play football forever. And then, you know, just on the field, I've never kind of been the biggest, strongest or fastest guy, especially, you know, not now in, in college football, there's a lot of big, strong, fast dudes, but you know me, I'm just a tough, physical, blue collar kind of player, and I like to use my instincts and my intelligence on the field to really, you know, give me a better step and, and help me make plays out there. The biggest thing I've learned from Coach Mendenhall is just you always need to continue to learn, and you can never feel like you're, you've arrived or that you know it all. And, you know, Coach Mendenhall, he's probably like a 50-something-year-old coach who's been coaching for a while, and, and he's reading every day. He's learning, trying to grow each and every day. And that's definitely something I've learned from him is just you can never know enough, and you can always seek out to learn something. And, and when you stop learning, you kind of peak. And I don't think anyone wants to peak. Character, I like to equate that back to what I was saying about my last name. One thing that will last with me forever, you know, your, your name and your honor. And, uh, you know, it's, it takes for a lifetime to build that up, but you can mess it up in, in one moment. You know, one decision can, can ruin everything you've worked for. So, you know, just trying to strive to be the best Kaiser I can be, being the best Mike I can be, and uh, hopefully that will, that will mean a lot, you know, one day. 
Um, it will be a great honor and, and uh, definitely a great accomplishment just to know that people view me like that and, and they see me like that. But at the same time, it's just a testament to the people that have been around me, the people that have helped me get here, the coaches, you know, the high school teachers, the middle school teachers, the elementary school teachers, uh, my parents, my family members, my teammates. Just knowing that they've helped me you know, get to this point and, and at the same time I've had a great impact on other people would be amazing.